Hey riders, how you doing? It's another ride home review um, with Paul. And so this week I, well initially I was going to try to watch um, um, Disobedience, but they changed the times for some reason for today. And so I went and saw Adrift, which uh, stars Shalene Woodley, Sam Claflin, and is directed by Balthazar Conacur. Um, before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube, like Ride Home Reviews on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and yeah, that's where you can find us. And so the movie is about, it's based on a true story about a couple who were to sail a yacht to San Diego and, um, well, Things go awry, and therefore you come up with the name of the film. Um, what I liked about this movie was, first of all, the cinematography was insanely great. Um, really good, uh, um, really good shots of the of the sea. Really made it a character in some way, shape, or form. It just was uh, really well well put together, especially. Uh, um uh you know for those for those areas in which um Shailene Woodley's character just felt alone um so it was just gorgeous gorgeous skies gorgeous water uh, another thing that I really liked was I really enjoyed how they paced the movie out by going back and forth between um being adrift and um and them getting to this point um the development of the couple and how they you know just going back and forth i liked how they did that um uh, now with that i really felt that in the instances in which they were doing the courting of Richard and Tammy, I just felt that the chemistry was a little off. I just didn't feel like, I just didn't buy into their, their romance. It just didn't feel solid. And, uh, I mean, when you go fast forward to when they're adrift, it's a little better. You can feel that, that tension or not tension, but that emotion a little bit better. But in the beginning stages, I, I felt that it just wasn't, wasn't concrete it just didn't have a believability to it and um, and it goes forward uh, with with the stories of their background and blah 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 and so um, but all in all it was a decent movie um, um, I don't really think you really need to see this in a theater I mean there's one scene that, you know obviously how they got to the, the point where they're adrift with the the weather but I mean but I really don't think that this is a film that you should feel like you need to see in a theater because most of it is is about taking it uh, being adrift and dealing with that and um, however the cinematography is really good I gotta give them credit for that uh, especially out on the open sea and just just giving that feel of dread and hopelessness um, because it's just so vast so vast and what to watch for is there's several foreshadowing elements and that you can catch I mean some of them are easy to figure out that something's gonna come back to that so so there's some foreshadowing elements um, and uh, but yeah it was an okay movie all in all it was okay I mean I don't know I don't think that they were the strongest of actors for this role, but that's my opinion. Anyway, Adrift, there you have it. Um, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. Till next week, watch some, watch some cool. All right, see you later.